Hello everyone, in this video I'll show changes in updated version of Parallel Gear Shafts Maker. All links both to the installers and other pages are available under the video. If you like the video please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Interface has been divided into 4 tabs and reorganized. On each tab you can see menu section which contains few groups of buttons. First group are buttons for safe load and reset which were moved from the bottom. Next row is used for showing course model of designing pair. Model can be displayed without or with parameters. Units row lets to switch units between millimeters and inches for non-angular fields. Last row determines which mode for pairing gears is used. Both gears can be external, only wheel can be internal or pinion can be internal. Menu section is visible on each tab, so changing mine options is available everywhere. First tab, mine parameters, contains most important settings of gears like module, number of teeth, their shape, thickness or pressure angle. It also displays ratio right below the teeth number. Second tab, modifications, contains settings for modifying teeth. In this place you can change such parameters like profile shift, tapper factor, backlash or side chamfers. Both pinion and wheels has its own group of these parameters. For external gears there is also top and thickness displayed. Chamfers option has now two other modes, for right and left sides separately. Adjoint switch is used to add joints automatically, I'll explain it later. On the third tab, transmission, you have access to defining orientation of wheel in relation to pinion. It can be set by X, Y shift or by angle. Setting orientation by angle lets change the wheel's placement around the pinion's center in a counterclockwise direction. There are four predefined settings like 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees and the last button which let you to set the angle manually. In this mode, center distance between gears is always the same. If you want to change X and Y coordinates of width center, for example round values to the natural numbers, you need to switch to the XY mode. This is available only when at least one profile shift factor is unlocked, otherwise there's no possibility to change their values and thus center distance. Changing XY values will automatically match the gears. If profile shift factor is locked, algorithm will try to modify only the second one. Of course, there's a limit of range for reasonable solutions, so if changes will be too big, algorithm won't calculate it. When one gear is internal, automatically calculated profile shift for the external gear will be always zero. You can still change both shift coefficients if one of the gears is internal, but you must remember that internal gear must have at least the same value of profile shift that in external gear. Mathematically there's no problem for unlock this, but results will be absurd due to interferences and such gears wouldn't work. If you need to get specific values of x, y but with changing both coefficients in case when one gear is internal, you can always try to change and check results in the third mode of preview. On the 4th tab, information, there are links for plugin files and documentation. By clicking the check for updates button, you'll get information if a new version appeared on the store. Other additional things are displaying estimation time, the more runs the more accurate results, ability of cancelling process, and information icon in the bottom of the window. Under the hood, there's also a better algorithm for generating tooth profile when they have undercuts. Each component has also parameters saved inside. If you need to check the details, you can get them from the properties field. Now I'll explain how to use joints and tell more about safe parameters. Joints are useful for performing motion analysis, but first let's get parameters from pinion and wheel. Getting proper motion formula is simple and the only thing which needs to be done is to copy it and pass to the driving gears expression field. For example, if wheel is an input and pinion output, 
you need to use the second one. Parameters keep most of the values used by the plugin. Will has also a section which contains data about placement, X, Y, orientation angle and the rotation of itself. Ok, so prepare some simple mechanism using this plugin. Assume that we need something like this. Dimensions and usability aren't necessary now, it's only for illustrative purpose. Let's split this thing to three parts. Driver gear with ring, B view, second driver with the upper gear, A view, second driver with the bottom gear, A view. First pair, driver and ring, should be oriented by angle. Pinion needs to be an internal gear, module as 1 16th of inch, pinion teeth number 30, wheel 16. No profile shifting, 20 degree herring bone teeth in normal view and a half inch thickness. Now let's prepare the second end, B. Assume such requirements on this side. Module 2 mm, driver 20 teeth, upper gear 40 teeth, lower 45, thickness 16 mm, straight teeth with chamfers on the left. First, let's prepare divider and the upper gear. Ok, now the third part. Now merge all of those pairs copying components of second and third part to the first part design.
Let's match our ring with the second driver. Copied components don't have joints, so they must be prepared manually. The last step is to enter motion links.
Here we have. That's all. I hope the changes on example will be useful, especially for those who are new in Fusion. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching this and see you next time. Bye.